Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching today. My name is Daniel Schwartz, President and Founder of Design IT Solutions. For almost 20 years, we've been helping organizations protect from cyber threats and offering IT services. Today, I want to take you on a tour of the dark web, go over what information's out there and what hackers have, and how you can protect yourself. One of my passions is educating organizations on their cybersecurity deficiencies, what's missing, how they can improve, and helping them get there. But today, I want to take you and show you the tools that will allow you to see what's out there and give you kind of an overview of the massive amount of data of the dark web. Also, what is the dark web? Let's get started. So first, we use what's called a hardened operating system. You might use a Mac, you might use Windows, you might also use Linux. In this case, I'm using a Linux operating system that has no ability to write to any of the media on my computer. So instead, when we go to a website, if there's malicious code that tries to attack my computer, I turn it off, I turn it back on, I'm right back where I started, no malicious code. So it, it's really recommended that you use something like this if you're going to go. I use uh, the product called Tails, and you can just boot right off a USB drive on your regular computer, and it brings up this browser that you can use called the Tor browser. Uh, Tor is what is used to create proxies that allow you to get to the dark web anonymously. Now, what I'm going to show you today, the dark web itself is not illegal. Going to websites on the dark web, not illegal. Purchasing illegal things that are illegal in your country or state or location, that's illegal. But simply going to the dark web and looking around, none of that is illegal. So we, we're using Tails. There's a handful of sites out there, like what we would call a bulletin board, uh, the library used to have lists type of things. These are sites that simply list other dark web sites. There's a couple of them. Uh, first of all, the Hidden Wiki, hiddenwiki.com. You can go there, and what it'll do is list all of these directories. Um, one of the most popular things on the dark web is drugs. I don't recommend buying them, uh, but it, they have a lot of marketplaces on the dark web. There's uh, wallets uh, for trying to get illegal crypto coins, uh, commercial shops that sell things like fake IDs, uh, guns, any illicit services, um, <clears throat> almost anything you want to buy, you, you can find on the dark web. Uh, these merchant accounts, some of them are like eBay where they have feedback ratings. Uh, so whoever you're buying it from might have five stars, might show 500 purchases, all great, might have one star. Um, it, it, actually tries to give credibility to the product you're buying. Uh, also on here, you can buy hacker services, you can buy ransomware, uh, you can buy viruses. Some of them, for the fee that you pay, the creator <clears throat> will actually modify it for you and help you distribute it. So um, there's escrow sites you can buy, which uh, is part of an attack. So for example, if a hacker sends you a phishing email, and it takes you to a fake Hotmail, Outlook, Gmail site. Those are escrow sites. They have to look legitimate, but when you put in your information, they steal it, and then that escrow site goes away, and next time you go back there, it doesn't work. So they sell escrow sites on here. Um, this one, a little more pictures instead of links, but it's basically the same thing. Now, you'll notice the site up here. You, you go to, you know, a... Uh, uh, google.com or your healthcare organization.com etc or .org or .gov um, these sites are what we call onion sites it has a dot onion at the end and you have to have a browser that can read the tor information to be able to go to these sites this is the tails tor browser and so it can open these sites you'll notice the reason why we have these bulletin boards like the hidden wiki and whatnot is this is not readable user, you know, a simple name like google.com. It's complicated, long, and it's a bunch of numbers and letters. You're not going to remember it. So you have to either create an index of all these yourself or go to a site like this that has lots of pages um, that you can click on and go through. Now, the CIA, the FBI, they all have pages that are .onion sites as well you can go to legitimate sites uh, and actually see legitimate information, but <clears throat> you also have to be careful. Now, 
site like this. This is where ransomwaregains.org. This is a research site and they put out information on ransomware gangs that are out there uh, and their sites. A lot of ransomware gangs will post where you can pay, information about hacks they've done uh, if you're doing research. One of the ones I picked for today is CLOP. Uh, it's a pretty big <clears throat> ransomware group and they have <clears throat> excuse me, published a lot of information to the web without any kind of paywall. And a paywall is simply you want the information, you pay them a fee, $10, $100, you know, a fraction of a Bitcoin, and then you can have all their archives, data that they've stolen from people. They don't have a paywall up. They have information. So you can go here to their normal leaks page. They have all these archives of data uh, of people, places, things that they have compromised, banks, government entities, universities, uh, law firms, etc., and they're just here. Bradshaw Medical, that's a newer one. You just click on it, and it's going to show you all the information you can just download. And what they're doing here, as the kids call it today, a flex of what they've done, they're not even charging for this information because they're so confident in what they do that they're just going to ransom another group. And if they don't pay, they put their information up here. One of the issues we're seeing today with cybersecurity is a double exfiltration or a double ransomware scenario where they encrypt your data, you have a backup, so you're like, I'm not gonna pay. Well, they also have exfiltrated your data and they're gonna charge you if you don't pay. Um, they're gonna publish it to one of these sites up here for free and you can go download their data. While this is loading, the, the sites can load very slowly on the dark web because you're proxying through several endpoints to try to keep your connections safe. Um, <clears throat> Flagstar, it's a bank. Most people have heard of it. Um, when you come down here, it tells you information. I I'm gonna carefully scroll past this because they, besides all these downloads right here of troves of data that you, they're just zip files of all kinds of stuff. They actually have screenshots here with real people's W2s, 1099s, banking documents. This is just the top of it um, where you can start to see people, it was a purchase. <clears throat> I don't, uh, you know, I don't wanna put somebody's information out there even though they can go here and see it for free. I'll just show you that there's all this information banking just listed for free on the internet in the dark web. So <clears throat> being conscious if a bank tells you, hey, by the way, we got compromised. Here's free credit monitoring. I would definitely set up the free credit monitoring and I would ask for more than one or two years. This information here in these archives, some of these have been here for years. Just because you have credit monitoring for two years, I could come five years later and pull that same information. Your social security number isn't changing. Maybe your address has, but it doesn't take long on public sites to figure out your new address. Your information could be in all this. And you wanna make sure that people aren't going and creating false IDs and or new accounts under your information because they'll run up that debt, they'll take a loan, et cetera, they'll take the money and you're left paying the debt. So <clears throat> knowing what's out there is important. There are other scans, there's services out there that will scan real time every day and update you if your information shows up so that you can be prepared. But on the flip side, the organizations that you're at, we wanna make sure that data doesn't get out. We wanna get and try to stay ahead of the hackers. Knowing what's out there is part of the puzzle of protecting yourself, but preventing it from getting there is obviously the best option. We <clears throat> at Design IT offer free security scans of your organization's network. We will do the full cybersecurity stack. We will emulate what hackers are using for tools today to see if they can get by your information. Just recently, Change Health was hacked took down pharmacies, took down, <clears throat> excuse me, all kinds of healthcare reimbursements, et cetera, by one flaw in the software they were using that was told to them, but they didn't update in time. Hackers got in, ransomed it, encrypted it, took down all kinds of things, caused chaos for, they're still recovering, and it's been weeks. So getting ahead of that is really important.
we're happy to help give you a free scan. You can reach out, go to our website, designitsolutions.com, uh, and just request a free scan. We will make a quick appointment with you to get the tool over to you to run it. And you can see this is for any organization out there that wants to look at it. Um, <clears throat> and that's basically the rundown of, yeah, this page didn't load, of what the dark web is like. So not only are there lots of, you know, little information sites you can go to, but <clears throat> some of these ransomware gangs, you can go to their site and see if your information is out there. Uh, like I said, don't do it from your machine. Yes, you can install a Tor browser on your computer and go directly. It's much safer to boot your computer into a safe operating system like Tails, and this is just tails.net. Um, and then the, the tools are here. Everything is here for you to go. You go to these sites, um, like I said, <clears throat> the hiddenwiki.com, uh, and, and pull up this information so you can go and see what's out there for yourself or like okay, the services that are out there that will help. That's it for today. Um, stay tuned. We'll have some more cool videos, uh, more information to come. Uh, and of course, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. We've got LinkedIn and uh, our website. Happy to help any way we can. Thank you and have a great day.